Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I am so happy you are here. I am Lisa and this is Creativity and Inspiration. I hope you're having an amazing Saturday. This is a rare new video on a Saturday, but I was super excited about this one and I kind of love it. So I wanted to share. Let's just jump into it. What I'm going to show you how to do is to take a sleeve off of a shirt that you don't wear. Maybe it's too small. Maybe it has holes in it, stains on the body part. You know, you were eating Mexican food, it dripped down, can't get them out. We're going to take the sleeves off of shirts like that. And we're going to make an amazing wine, champagne, or apple sparkling cider juice cover wine bag with an amazing tag on it to give as a gift to take, you know, for friends if you're meeting them somewhere or if they're coming to your house. If you want to do a wine tasting, this is a great way to hide all the wine bottles or other types of bottles and nobody will know until you're ready to reveal. So lots of uses and let's just get started. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer for this next part. So what I did was I had this shirt. You've seen this on a couple of haul video, on a haul video and a couple of styling videos. But honestly, I just wasn't wearing it how it is as a long sleeve button up. It's got the gold in it, which just kind of isn't my thing. So what I did was I removed one sleeve from this side and I did it inside out on the thick seam and I'll show you on the sleeve that's still attached. See this really fat seam right here? What I did was I cut along that which separated it from the shirt. Okay, so I got a really nice clean cut. This is nice and clean too. Yes, it's jagged, but that's kind of the worn look now. So I'll show you what we're going to do with the rest of the shirt in a different video. So anyway, I detached the sleeve. It was on the shirt like this. I took, turned it inside out, took my scissors and cut around this super fat seam. And I ended up with my shirt sleeve detached. Once I got it detached, it was a little long for my wine bottle. So I measured, measured, and I cut off however much I needed to cut off. So all I did was measure it out on here and I figured out how much I could cut off. I probably left a little more than I needed, but it's always better to cut, leave too much on the actual uh, sleeve than it is to cut too much off. So I cut this off. I don't need this. I'll put it over here. And this is what I'm left with is my sleeve. Now it's still too long. If I put my bottle in here, it's still way too long. So I'm going to show you. And what you'll do is you'll put this on your bottle and go ahead and unbutton the cuffs on your shirt because once you get this measured out, you're going to want to take your bottle in and out that way. But So I slid this on over it like this, but I unbuttoned the buttons on the cuff so when I get this measured out, I can take it off that way. What I'm going to do, though, is figure out where do I want the cuff to sit on my bottle. And I want it to sit naturally where the bottle starts to widen out. That's where I want it to sit. So it's going to sit just like that. And then what I'm going to do at the bottom is I'm going to grab it around that cuff and hold it where I want it to sit. And I'm going to pull all that extra fabric down. And I'm going to look about how much I need to fold in because what I'm going to do is either sew the bottom or, or with a really good fabric glue and be super careful with this because you are gluing it and it's going to have a heavy bottle and you might forget and carry it by the cover. So if you're going to use glue, use a combination of a really good permanent fabric glue and some E6000. But watch out because E6000 eats a lot. So some of the fabric you cut off, test it on there. You just want to make sure the bottom's not going to fall out. So that's why you make sure you got really good fabric glue. It has a lot of time to dry and you're sure while you're carrying it, it's not going to slip out. And this is Fabric Fusion. This is permanent and you need to, you need to read on here. It says permanent fabric uh, adhesive. Okay. Because you might see some like this that says no-sew fabric glue and think, oh, that's wonderful. 
But when you read, this is temporary. You don't want temporary because you don't want to be carrying this and your bottle slip out the bottom. So always make sure your fabric glue is permanent. And like I said, if it can withstand um, a little E6000 in there as well, I would do that also. Okay, so now I've got this. I'm just going to measure out. It's sitting where I want it to. So how much of this fabric am I going to need to cut some more off? Then I'm going to fold it under and I'm just going to sew a seam. I'm just going to sew a seam and double stitch it and make sure it's really secure at the bottom. And that's it. So let me see. Okay, so I know I'm going to count my little ribs because I used a plaid shirt. It's easy to kind of measure. And I'm going to fold under three layers. So I'm going to take it off that way. I'm going to come to the bottom down here of my sleeve and I'm going to fold it in all the way around at this third square. And I'm just tucking it in for right now. I'm not doing anything permanent. I'm just getting it like this so I can see how that looks overall on my bottle. Okay, so now it's all tucked in. I'm going to put my bottle back in and see how that sits with that being the length. Okay, and I'm going to button the top button here. And that's good because I can pull it down a little bit. That's good because I want it, I thought I wanted it lower, but I actually want it higher. I want just the little cork at the top to be showing. So that's a good length for my bottle right there. So what I'm going to do is where I've sewed, uh, where I folded it, now you can either glue, the, uh, glue it together or you can go sew it. And how you would do that is, oh, unbutton it, okay, and turn it inside out carefully so your fold stays in place. Oh, and mine didn't, but that's okay, because I know where to fold it. One, two, three. Like I said, having the plaid is really easy because it helps to where I want to fold it. Okay. So it's folded where I want to sew it. Now you can sew it across like that, but you're going to have a seam. So the best thing you can do, so it's still on the third one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come and sew it. Sew a couple of stitches across here. So I'm not going to have a seam where the bottom goes so the bottle won't rock. It'll be a smooth seam. Because what I did was I had the three squares folded, remember? And this is the length I want right here. Okay, it starts out like this. That's the amount I want. I unfolded it just a little on one side and brought one side over. And I'm going to stitch it at this third square. Okay, so let's go stitch this together twice. We want to make sure it holds. Okay, so it's stitched. We're going to turn it inside out now. I'm going to make sure that's where I want it. So just flip it inside out. Okay, and then I'm going to put my bottle in. And there you go. It is a cute, whoops. And there you go. It is a super cute little wine holder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that extra fabric off. So here's my stitch right here. So I'm going to cut a lot of this extra off. We don't need it. May you leave a little of it, but not a lot. And I would use my good fabric scissors, but this is inside the bag. Nobody's going to see it. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it back inside out. 
when I was stitching, it got a little blurry, so I don't know if you noticed, but I backstitched at the beginning and end. That just secures your stitches a little bit better. But like I said, if you don't have a sewing machine to make a cute little bag, do the same process with your uh, permanent glue and maybe also a little E6000. I'll link this glue down below as well. Okay, so now our bag is made. We're going to stick our... In my case, it's apple cider, but if you like champagne or wine, whatever you like, I'm going to stick it in. On the back, I'm going to on the back, I'm going to make sure I button all the buttons up. And now to cinch it, we're going to use one of our wine tags and these are kits and and these are kits over on my art website. You get in the kit, you get two di two wooden discs, you get some twine and you get all the colors of paint represented on these which are brown, burgundy, white and green and there's a video showing you how to paint both of these pictures. And all you do is pick whichever one you want to use. I'm going to put that on the front and adjust your uh, cover however you want. Put it like that. Tie it. And that is your gift. You could use this for a tasting if you didn't want anybody to see the bottle inside. On the tag, if it's a gift, you could put to from on the back. You could put what it is the year, whatever you wanted to. And like I said, the kit for these wine tag, these bottle tags, they don't have to be wine. They could be anything you want it to be. Also, it doesn't have to be so country rustic farmhouse. You can also do any type of sleeve, any type of shirt that you've maybe ruined, take a sleeve off of. Has to be a long sleeve button up because that just gives you the cute shape. But it could be a white one and you could um, paint a wooden tag gold for a gold anniversary of some sort. You could do silver for silver, but you you would still want to do the wood tags even if you used a white shirt or any other type of shirt. You were going more fancy because you need that du juxtaposition of natural and casual to the elegance. It just adds a little up and in interest to it. So there are options besides this, but the kit is how to paint this tag or this tag and again it i will leave a link below but it is on my website which is definitely linked below and the sleeves you know look through your old clothes if you don't have any shirts that you want to cut the sleeves off definitely go to the thrift store and you can always find some there but how cute is that also as you can see it does not have to be alcohol in there it can be a apple cider apple juice bottle too it's just super fun super elegant super cute so guys i hope you enjoyed this video today if you did be sure and give it a thumbs up also help me out and hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you'll know when new videos post i have a lot of content coming this year take care and i'll see you next time bye